What happens when you take these big hands and these little guys right here and put them together? We're here at La Cordon Bleu to find out. Well, uh, Le Cordon Bleu, uh, obviously we've been around uh, since 1895. It was founded in, in Paris, France. And we have 16 Le Cordon Bleu schools in the United States. Uh, we've been here for 10 years in Atlanta, uh, very proud of that. We have programs for both the professional and the enthusiast. Yeah, the weekend classes is our Blue Ribbon Kitchen classes. And we do a wide variety of things from introductory, basic, fundamental cooking skills. There's a wide variety of classes there, um, surely, you know, from the basic level even up to advanced. And today, I'm learning how to make a delectable dessert known as Petit Four. I joined Chef Kyle Reynolds' pastry class to make these tiny, tasty treats. So first off, everyone, you have frangipan in front of you. This is an almond cake, and we're going to layer it to make Petit Fours. To start, Chef instructs us to grab a knife and run the blade around the edges of the cake to separate it from the pan. We cut the cake in thirds, grab some strawberry jam, and spread it on two of the layers. How come all my classmates seem to have an idea what they're doing and I'm still working? <laughs> <laughs> we stack our cakes and prepare to cover them. So next, we need to roll out some marzipan to put on top. So uh, let's put our cakes on the rack over here, just to get them out of our way. Yeah. Right now, my dough is, well, my marzipan is a circle, and my cake is what shape? Rectangle. rectangle, right? So we want this to be a rectangle, so. Yeah, I noticed mine's is not exactly rectangle, but you know, where I grew up, you know, we didn't have regular rectangles. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it, okay. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and grab our cakes and bring them over to our station. Yeah, just me, see? <laughs> Always had a problem with thirds. And you can see, mine's completely off. The next dilemma that we've got is, how do you get this onto the cake? So I'm gonna put the rolling pin on top of the dough, lift up that leading edge, and then just start to roll it up in the rolling pin. And then you're just gonna let the rolling pin roll it right over the top. And any excess marzipan, just trim flush with the edges of the cake. Obviously, my classmates are a little more advanced than I am. Next, we need to cut the cake. I typically use a ruler for this, and I like to mark it off at three quarters of an inch. Why don't you go ahead and get started? Oh, that's right, because you know it's going to take a minute. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> we cut the cake into petite, bite-sized pieces and began icing and designing. Bring it close to the bowl so that you're not dripping all over the place. There we go. I'm probably going to do that anyway. <laughs> and I'm getting the hang of it. That one's covered. Almost. You know, practice makes perfect. It's all right to, to fail. You can learn from failure. Notice I missed the whole thing when you said that. <laughs> the masterpiece preparation continues as Chef Kyle heats and mixes some chocolate icing for us to use for decorating. That's a pretty pipeable consistency. Grab your paper bag, fill it up about halfway. And the next thing is just kind of figure out what you want to do for the decoration on the top. And let's try to practice some of the piping. I have no idea what it is, but I like it. So after mastering the art of making petit fours, I earned the coveted crown. On behalf of La Cordon Blue Atlanta, our president, Glenn Mack, our whole staff, we now honor you with the toque. You have graduated to chef. Wear it well. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I couldn't have done it without my classmates. This is so wonderful. <laughs>